Hi Taurus, this is Z here at Pink Aura Tarot. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Um, if you're just now discovering the channel by watching this video, hopefully you will stick around, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified for new readings. So all of my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but if you have Taurus somewhere in your chart, then hopefully this reading will resonate with you or even if you're cross-watching for a Taurus. So um, if you would like a personal reading with me too, because these readings right here are very, very general. So it may or may not resonate with everyone. That's okay. Um, but if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, all you have to do is just check the description box below for my information on booking a reading and I will respond back the same day. So let's see what's going on here. So um, Taurus, this is going to be for you for February the 12th through the 19th. If you're new to this channel, I already posted up the February 5th through the 12th reading. So um, these are just like the second part of, well, the weekly reads basically. Um, this is kind of new to me, so I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> so yeah, this is for Taurus for February the 12th through the 19th. What messages do you have for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February the 12th through the 19th. Uh oh. What message is here for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February the 12th through the 19th. Okay, so your energy came out, Taurus. Okay. So we have the hair front card here. For some of you guys, you could be uh, about to. For some of y'all, you could be, I feel like for some people, honestly, with the hair font card, I don't know why I'm picking this up, but for some of y'all, you could be needing to like put yourself like in a leadership type of position here with the hair font com card coming out here. And this is um your card towards like your energy with the hair font card too. Um, like as a reader, this could be like YouTube or something. Um, The reason why I'm saying that is because we got the King of Wands here at the bottom of the deck here not really sure where this reading is about to lead to but i'm just um telling you guys what i'm picking up like intuitively for some of you guys, you could be needing to like put yourself in a leadership type um a leadership type of position here or you could already be a leader here oh wow i didn't even realize the the king of pentacles was right here yeah for some of you guys, you could be needing to start a youtube channel like talk about your beliefs you could be wanting to talk about spirituality here um religion like whatever um this could be something that you're like very passionate about too. This could also be like a creative type of energy too with a king of wands. But they're a leader. They take charge here. Um, but it's like you um putting it on some onto um putting it onto some type of platform where people are like looking up to you with this hair font card. Cause you see how the two people are looking up at the um the hair font. So let's see what's going on here. What message is you have for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February the 12th through the 19th. Yeah, we got the King of Swords. Yeah, for some of you, you could be some type of mentor here. You have a lot of knowledge here and wisdom that you could be needing to share. But put it onto, onto some type of platform here. What message do you have for Taurus? Some of you guys... um. Well, no, I'm not going to say that because I'm not sure. I'm not going to assume <laughs> right off. So let's see. What messages do you have for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February the 12th through the 19th. What messages do you have for Taurus for February the 12th through the 19th? Yeah, Three of Pentacles. Some of you guys are needing to take action here towards, um, you could be needing to like collaborate with someone here as well with the Three of Pentacles. But I feel like this is like in regards to your work. Like you putting your um, work or something on some type of platform or you're on some type of platform here sharing your knowledge, your wisdom here. Um, could, you could just be talking about your beliefs here too. What message do you have for um, Taurus? Yeah, so we have the Page of Cups here. Yeah, I'm getting like a lot of creative energy for y'all. So we got the page of cups here. So I do feel like you, you could be needing to follow like your creative, um, your creativity here with this page of cups here. 
And look, we got the Ace of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, Taurus. So look, this is something new in, in regards to someone's work. I feel like someone could be wanting to start something here. It's like other people are going to be looking at your work here. Give me one more for um, Taurus. Okay, let's see what comes up for you, Taurus. What messages do you have for Taurus for February the 5th of the 19th? Okay, so wow. We got the Two of Cups here. So this could be about love, Taurus. We got the Two of Cups here. For some of you guys, you could be coming together here or like collaborating here with someone here with the Three of Pentacles. Could be like a work type of uh, connection here. Also, too, I feel like you could be hearing from someone here. Um, you could have like worked with this person here, but we got the Knight of Wands here with the Judgment. So I'm not really sure if someone left here, like you could have left Taurus or the other person could have left. But definitely like some past energy coming up here. Could be a fire sign or an air sign for someone here. Clarify the hair font card here for Taurus. Clarify the hair font. Clarify the hair font. Yeah, so wow, we got the Knight of Wands that came out. We just talked about the Knight of Wands and here it is. So you could have been done with the fire sign because this Queen of Wands came out too. But the way it came out was kind of like um i didn't like the way it came out here so you could have been dealing with a fire sign here so aries leo or sagittarius here but someone definitely so you could have like left a marriage here or um i feel like some past energy here with judgment is here so it could be about a connection it's definitely like about another person here What's the King of Wands? I mean, um, King of Swords. What's the King of Swords? I don't know why, but this, um, these readings that I'm doing for the, um, the week of February the 12th through the, um, through the 19th, it's like all of them have been like love readings. Cause you know, um, Valentine's Day is like in the mix of here. It's on the 14th. So what's this King of Swords here? What's this King of Swords? Yeah, so I do feel like someone could have walked away here from a situation. They made a decision here about leaving something. So I'm not really sure if it's you, Taurus, or another person. So we got the Eight of Cups. Someone definitely walked away here from a situation. So it could have been an air sign that walked away. But you could be coming in here as the King of Swords, like um, Taurus. So you could have air in your chart. I feel like too, someone could have cut off something here as well. What's this three of pentacles here? What's this three of pentacles here? Oh, wow. So we got the six of pentacles here. That came out. So towards, I do feel like too, this is about work here. For some of you guys, you're going to be, um, I feel like someone's getting like some type of raise here after they walk away or leave a situation here. Because I feel like you could be this Knight of Wands too, um, Taurus. You left something here. So whatever it was, it was like no longer serving you. Maybe it wasn't an equal give and take. And this is where you're headed here. With this Eight of Cups here and the Six of Pentacles. So maybe you need to like, um, <laughs> maybe you need to walk away. I'm <laughs> laughing at a comment. But um, <laughs> you need to walk away from something here. It, maybe it wasn't an equal give and take here or like it just wasn't um, emotionally fulfilling here as well. So, let's see. What's this page of cups here for Taurus? What's this page of cups here? Wow, so we got judgment here. So, okay, I guess this turned into a love reading, Taurus. But look, somebody here, I don't know if it's you coming in as a page of cups, Taurus. Someone that you could have dealt with in the past here. I feel like someone's, um, whoever walked away, it seems like they're coming back here. That's what it seems like. 
But with judgment here, it's like someone popping up here with the page of cups. Coming in here. Could be an earth sign. Another earth sign. What's the two of cups? What is the two of cups here? Yeah, so you could have taken a break here from this person, but we got the four of swords that came out. But there's definitely some fire sign energy here <clears throat> for y'all. But we got the four of swords. So you could have taken a break here from a connection. And you could be the um <clears throat> the king of wands. Excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> you could be the king of wands here at Taurus. So... You could be wanting to take action here towards someone. Sorry, what in the world is going on? Please. Okay. <clears throat> What's this Eight of Cups here? Yeah, okay, wow. So you could be separated from someone, Taurus. That's what I feel. You could have also been married to this person as, as well. But we got the death card here. So there was, there was definitely an ending here between and you and a, another person here. Also, too, I feel like it was like a separation too. What's the Six of Pentacles here? What's the Six of Pentacles? What's the Six of Pentacles here? Clarify the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, nine of cups here. So it's like you walked away. Um, well, either you or another person here, you walked away here from a situation that was um, not emotionally fulfilling here. And it's like you're walking here towards a wish fulfillment here. Um, happiness and contentment here too. A equal give and take here. It's like maybe um, you and another person here wants to like work on some things, like work together. So either you or another person here could be like rushing in here. There could also be fear in a way here too in regards to someone like rushing in. What's judgment? Tell me about judgment here. Yeah, someone could be confused here about making a decision. Maybe there's some other things going on here with the Seven of Cups. But someone's definitely confused here. But also to use your intuition here with the Seven of Cups. Choose wisely here because I'm not really sure what happened. What this ending was about here. But something's definitely changing here. Or somebody wants change here towards. But wow, there could have definitely been some deception here. I'm not really sure if someone was dealing with a Leo. But that's what's coming up. So we got the strength card with the Seven of Swords. What's the Four of Swords here? Yeah, we got the sun card. Okay. So we got the sun card here. So if, if you're not wanting, um, it's like if a past energy here pops up here, Taurus, um, you could not, maybe you don't want to choose that. Maybe you want to take a break here from a situation here. Maybe you want something new with the sun card here. But it's definitely some Leo energy coming up here. Also, too, it's like um, there's like some some type of like impulsive energy, like quick moving energy. So I'm not really sure if it's you or another person here, but it's definitely about a connection here. So let's pull some Oracle cards real quick. Give me one for Taurus. Wow, they got watch your mouth here. So watch your mouth on this card. I put watch your mouth, but it also says your words are powerful and also to your thoughts. What messages do you have for Taurus for this spread? What messages do you have for Taurus for this spread? What messages do you have for Taurus for this spread, please? Oh, oh, so this card popped out here. So yeah, for some of you guys, you could be wanting to um 
I feel like too, for some of y'all, you could be wanting to level up. It's like once you walk away from a certain situation here, it's like maybe you're leveling up here. But we got to reinvent yourself here. But I feel like too, that was going back to like that YouTube thing I was talking about. For some of y'all, you could be wanting to like teach something too. Wow, we got big change here. Big change on this card, I put embrace it. So embrace um, some type of big change here, especially with a death card coming in here. Something's definitely changing for someone here. It's like once you walk away or leave a situation here. Give me one more here for Taurus, please. Wow, we got the unknown that came out. Is this card moving on this one? Yeah, it is. So we got the unknown on this card. I put the unknown and it says where the magic lies. So I do feel like this big change could be, um, there could be fear involved too. Like, I feel like you could be wanting to like go towards something. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe it will be big change for you. But I feel like too, it's like wherever you're going here, it's like you're about to reinvent yourself. So um, you could be need to like watch the words that you say about a certain situation, especially if it's like about fear um, as well. Let's get one more. Give me one more here for Taurus. Give me one more here for Taurus, please. Yeah, we got a road closed. So I do feel like, too, um, whatever you walked away from, it's like that road closed. Maybe, you know, something didn't work out. You had to leave. Um, you had to head out. So one road was closed. And on this card, I put, don't worry, you're being detoured. So just know wherever you're going, it's like for your greater good, basically. Um, we got third eye on left eye here. So for some of you, you could have seen something here. Like your intuition could have been telling you something here as well. Uh, and maybe this is why <clears throat> you needed to leave or like take a break from something here. So yeah, I'm going to end the reading right here, Taurus. Um, hopefully it resonated with someone, of course. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel.